We at Beasley Allen have a very long history of pursuing products liability litigation in cases all over the country. Our firm has had a history of doing this uh, since the late 1970s, and we have uh, done a lot of good in making uh, consumer products uh, more safe. Uh, one of the areas that I'm especially interested in is uh, product liability as it pertains to child safety seats. This is a backless booster seat, and it is one of the most dangerous products that can be legally sold here in the United States for children. These are child restraint seats uh, that have been placed on the market, and they are extraordinarily dangerous. They are especially hazardous to children in the 40 to 65 pound range, and the reason that they are so hazardous for smaller children is that because these booster seats are backless, just like they say, children can roll out of their seat belts in a crash and become virtually unrestrained in their upper body, and this results in horrific uh, injuries. The inadequate warning is here on the side label of the product, and it is illegible, but it says fits children between 40 and 100 pounds, and this is completely inaccurate. Backless boosters have not been outlawed by the government, but recently, back in December of 2020, the United States Congress came out with a report uh, declaring that NHTSA has failed in its job to protect the public, specifically children, from these booster seats because manufacturers were advertising that these seats were safe to use for children between the weights of 40 and 65 pounds. And this is very, very crucial because what the government found and what they had been told by us and experts in the industry is that these backless booster seats pose a unique hazard to these smaller children because they will roll out of the seat belts. The government, while they did, took no enforcement action, pointed this out to the NHTSA that manufacturers should absolutely be required to advertise that, that backless booster seats are not appropriate to be used by children less than 65 pounds because they are still within the size and weight uh, ranges to be kept in a five-point uh, child safety seat instead of a backless booster. Unfortunately, I have seen firsthand the tragic results that occur when children in the ranges of 40 to 65 pounds are placed in these seats. So if I could offer uh, some limited advice with respect to the kind of seat you're going to purchase, please do not buy backless booster seats. Uh, please keep your child in a forward-facing five-point uh, harness until they meet the upper limits of the uh, height and weight requirements for that seat, which uh, are generally 65 pounds. Uh, after you get to 65 pounds, it is uh, best, the best practice to put them in a high-back booster that will accommodate a three-point seat belt. And these recommendations uh, have been made by the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, and ultimately the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration after press pressure uh, from firms such as Beasley Allen and other uh, child safety advocates.